<laughs> hey everybody, this is Zach Thomas here. Welcome for another uh, another episode of Three Shades of Blue TV. Glad you're here with us tonight. It is Thursday night. It's 8.30 p.m. here in Memphis, Tennessee, and it's time to talk some Grizzlies. So Grizzlies are 5-0. and oh. um, I never thought that would happen, <laughs> but uh, it has happened. Dave Yeager said he wanted a fast start this year, and goodness gracious, is that a fast start. Uh, hasn't been pretty. It has been pretty ugly, as a matter of fact, but uh, it is a fast start. So Jaeger uh, has chosen the proper lineup to start the game off, and uh, the starting five that uh, we've seen has been very productive when they've been on the court, uh, especially with Courtney Lee out there. It's wild because uh, we'll get into this in a few minutes, but uh, the offense with Courtney Lee on the court actually has a... Uh, 125.7 offensive rating, which is amazing, and it's that that would be the starters with Courtney Lee. That o offensive rating is third in the entire league for the best five-man lineup, um, behind Toronto and Utah. Um, also, if you look at the offensive rating overall this year, um, it is 99.1, which is four points lower than last year's average, uh, which was 103, uh, right at 103. Um, so the offense is struggling, which we've noticed, but the defense through five games has been amazing. Um, the defensive rating is 90.9. There's only one other team in the league right now that has a better defensive rating, and that is Golden State Warriors, who we will also talk about at the end of the broadcast. But um, just suffoc the Grizzlies are just suffocating people on defense. Um, and so, you know, going into the season, I was hoping for a fast start being 5-2, and two, which technically is still possible if we lose the next two. But uh, at this point, I, I mean, with the way OKC is injured and, um, you know, the way the Bucks are, I mean, just really, I don't know, you just really don't think that they'll um, get much done against the Grizzlies. At least they shouldn't. Now, there could be some surprises, but I expect 7-0. and oh. I mean, then we got the Lakers 8-0. So we'll talk about how how fast we think this can happen and, and uh, how long the Grizzlies can can stay. Um, but you know, if you make it past the Lakers, then you make it past the Kings, uh, which they're playing really well right now. They come to the FedEx Forum uh, next week. You could start off nine and zero because then you have Detroit. So crazy wild ride that we've been on. And uh, so I just encourage everyone to soak it in right now and enjoy the ride while we're here. And um, let's just keep playing basketball. So